But yeah, so this is pretty much my setup layout wise of how I have my Reaper currently. So if you do want to do this, these are all the steps that you would take. Basically, you just put your Explorer on the left hand side. You put your toolbar down here, you got your master on the right hand side. So this is pretty much what I have right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you guys how I set up my Reaper, kind of like the layout that I use, not necessarily all the tools and everything, but just kind of how the, the layout is. There was a subscriber that asked me to show a really quick video of how to do the layout. So here we are. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this is the newest Reaper. This is the 7.25. Um, I am still evaluating this one. This was actually done on a flash drive, so I didn't have to have it loaded on my computer. So this is the default. This is exactly how you get it when you get Reaper. As you can see, I don't have my SWS or my Rea pack options on here. Just a brand new clean slate of Reaper. All right. So most of the time you'll have your transport right here in this middle part. Uh, you can get it right click on it and you can go and you can hide it or you can move it to a different place, right? So I usually like mine's above the ruler. So I'll put mine above the ruler. And as you see here, it is right here. And you can even center it if you wanted to, to center transport controls, you click right here. So now your transport is in the center and you can kind of just see everything at the top of the screen. I just want to add one track this whole it'll have something inside the mixer and I want to move this master, right? So what you want to do is right click on the master and you want to go up to master track. And what I want to do is show in Docker. All right. So now that you have your master down here in the Docker, you can move it around. So if I click on this, I'll be able to move it. I can move it to this left hand side. I can move it to the right hand side. Um, I can add it to the top if I wanted to as well. Right? So, um, I usually like to have mines on the right hand side, so I'll dock it over here to the right. And now you'll see a bigger mixer over here on the right hand side. And what I want to do is pull up the whole mixing channel to kind of match that height. So now I have my master over here on the right hand side and I have my mixer down here at the bottom. All right, so I usually like to have my Media Explorer on this left-hand side of the screen. So you can go up to View, and then you go down to Media Explorer, or you can hit Control, Alt, and X. And as you see, it docks it at the bottom of the screen. This is cool if you wanna leave it down here. I usually like to have mine's on the left-hand side, so I'm gonna move it. So I'm gonna grab this and pull it over toward the left. And as you see, the big blue line lets me know that it's gonna go over here to the left-hand side of the screen. And now I have my Media Explorer on the left-hand side of my screen and I have my mixer on the right-hand side. So this gives me the option to kind of set everything up the way I want to. So if I wanted to pull this up some, I can pull up this section here where the actual waveform is to make it a little bit bigger so I can actually see the waveform better. But yeah, so this is pretty much how I have my layout currently right now. This is where my transport is at the top. Uh, I have my mixer down here. And I can set up a piano roll by adding a MIDI item. So I'm gonna go to insert item and I'm gonna go to insert new MIDI item. So now when I double click, here is my piano roll. It's just floating in the air. So what I wanna do is click on this little docker right here at the bot at the end of the piano roll. I click on that and it'll bring it down here to where the mixer is. So now I have my piano roll down here and I have my Media Explorer on this left-hand side, and I have my mixer, my master, over here on the right-hand side of the screen. And usually I like to have toolbars, so I can right-click on this toolbar up here. This is the toolbar. I can right-click, and I can go to open a toolbar. And you know, you have several toolbars you can use. You have the 32 that you can use. I'm just gonna click on toolbar two. And for this toolbar, what I want to do is actually put it underneath this browser, just so I'll have something for quick access for browser stuff. 
uh, that's when you actually add your SWS and your rear packs. It'll make it a lot easier to kind of set everything up. So what I want to do is dock this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to position toolbar, right? And I'm going to put it in the toolbar docker. So now I have this little option here to grab this toolbar and put it wherever I want to. So if I wanted to have a toolbar, let's say like right here, down here at the bottom, I can put it in this transport, but let's say I wanted it on the side here. If I hold down control, you'll see a blue line pop up here and I can actually add this toolbar right here. So if I wanted to, now I have a toolbar right here on the left hand side and I can shrink it down if I wanted to. If I had like, uh, you know, stuff in there, I can shrink it down and I have a toolbar right here on the side. And uh, Reaper makes this really easy to kind of do and kind of set up your toolbar however you want to. So let's say I wanted to put it underneath this, this uh, Media Explorer. So I can grab it and I can move it. Now, right now it's gonna be on top of it. So I'm gonna put it on the bottom. So I'm gonna hold down control and put it at the bottom. As you can see, the blue line down here means that it's gonna go to the bottom and boom. Now I have that at the bottom and I can just pull this down. And now I have a toolbar underneath my Media Explorer, right? And it works either way in here. It can work up here at the top if you wanted to add the toolbar up here. Um, Reaper Tips has a really cool video showing you a couple of ways that he's actually created new toolbars inside of his Reaper. I'll probably link that below in this video as well. But yeah, so this is pretty much my setup layout wise of how I have my Reaper currently. So if you do wanna do this, these are all the steps that you would take. Basically, you just put your Explorer on the left-hand side, you put your toolbar down here, you can add whatever you want to. I have like a couple of Explorer options down here and I have like some MIDI options down here as well. You can add MIDI inside here, some MIDI uh, shortcuts inside the piano roll as well, which will make it really cool. And then you have uh, your master on the right hand side. So it's kind of out of the way, but still kind of visible so you can see exactly what's going on. Right? So this is pretty much what I have right now. So if you have like any questions or concerns about this, please leave it below in the comment section. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video. Just kind of wanted to let that user know how I actually set up my Reaper. That's why I didn't have it full screen. I can show you everything that's going on, uh, make it a lot easier for you guys to set yours up if you wanted to have this same setup like I do. And then basically you just change your theme to a different theme and you can get uh, the different colors and things like that on there. But yeah, but with that being said, that's the end of this video. Please make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. And I want to thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Till the next time. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.